We're getting ready for the final round of the Praga Championship. The cars are in the process of being prepped at the moment. Um, they get taken back pretty much to the tub um, every single time. We'll test every, every part you know, to the maximum of our capabilities to give ourselves the best possible opportunity. We've got, still got a chance of it. We're going to give it our best shot, try and get everything put in place for it, and be as prepared as we can be. Um, you know, focus is to try and put enough pressure on the middle guy, guys to you know make them make a mistake, make them fall over one way or another, and um, take away what they think they deserve. Going into the last round, we're currently sat second in the championship, I believe, 21 points behind uh, Gordy and Jimmy. Um, and then we've got the raw car just behind us, I think it's three or four points, so not, nothing really. Um, so that, that's sort of where we sit in the top three. And fundamentally, we just want to win. The actual prize of winning a car, we don't actually need to beat Jimmy and Gordy uh, because they're in a works Praga car, they don't count for the, for the possibility to win a car. So from where we've come from, the, when we found out the prizes that are available, it was like, wow, this is something different. Um, and yeah, it's very rare to have a, a real a real prize. Lots of people, you know, they, they know you race, like, oh, what, what do you win? You're like, a little cup. <laughs> it's like, cost all this money to go and do it, we're just doing it because we like doing it, really. Um, and we like winning, but yeah, to have an actual tangible prize at the end of it is, is something that's very different. Obviously, I think we were in it for the prize. The customer, that's why the customer, Ben, signed up and, and why he's asked for me to drive. So from that point of view, I think, more our focus at the minute is the prize, um, so that is priority. But as I said, we'd like I'm not here to finish second, we never entered this to finish second. And obviously, the overall championship means something to me, absolutely. Um, but I don't think that's probably quite within our grasp unless something goes um, wrong for Gordy and um, Broadbent Car. But you never know, you know, motorsport's a strange old game. Sorry, mate, I missed a break point there. Uh, what is that? So, what, a win's like 30, 30, 30. Uh, 34. Uh, 33, fastest lap, 34. So, if we did the Grand Slam, so pole position, fastest lap race win, that's 34, which would mean, yeah, fourth place gets 20, so we need Scott to finish fifth. It's down to the bridles, right? Who can win the championship, I think. Yeah. So, I think they, they were in exactly the same position last year, weren't they? Yeah, they were. They were. They were just on the outside. Yeah. Just, yeah, just the outside. Currently P1, um, which is nice. We've been there for, all, I think, a, a couple of rounds now. Um, steadily increasing our lead, but not quite enough to be champions yet. So we would need basically a 34 point gap or more going into the second race to be champions in race one. Um, we're currently at 19, which means we'd have to have our competitors, I think our main competitors, which are the Mattel guys. And um, well, we, 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 well, we need to finish ahead of Benstone in the raw car, and we need to um, finish ahead of Scott Mattel. Um, they need to be like fifth, I think, for us to win in race one. Not that we've been working it out or anything. <laughs> you know, of course, it's it's a big thing to to take a to take a a championship, uh, especially in the UK, because the UK is the leading country for for motorsport. So if you, if you're winning championships in in the UK, you know you're you're worth talking about. Elations of winning it would be would be would be fantastic but I also think you know the kind of disappointment if we lost would would maybe even possibly outweigh that I mean it's in our favor for sure um, but you know a lot of things can can happen racing is unpredictable so you can't drop your guards you need to, you need to stay vigilant you need to stay on it you need to stay focused all the, all the time um, because as soon as you drop that and as soon as you get comfortable that's when that's when mistakes can happen no, it's not going to be smooth sailing, it never has been. Motorsport's not a smooth sailing game. Um, you know, we'll do whatever we can to put as much pressure on our direct competitors and make it as the least smooth sailing for them as humanly possible. Um, we'll make life difficult for them and as long as we've got what we believe we can turn around underneath us, we've got every chance of doing that. Well, I will be keeping an eye on obviously what, what Jimmy and Gordy are doing and what the Raw Car's doing, but at the end of the day, we'll, we'll go out and do our own thing. Um, do the best that we can over those two races and it'll kind of it'll be what it'll be we'll prepare as best we can to make the car as reliable as possible and as fast as possible um, and then myself and Charles will do the best job we can to uh, to make sure we bring it home in the places that matter you know ultimately we want to cross the line in the last race at Donington 
and whatever the result is, if we win it, we win it, and if we don't, we don't. But I want that to be the result without any to any questions asked, really, because political games get really boring. What we want to see is hard, fair racing on the track, and decide it on the track, and uh, and then have a laugh about it afterwards. As a racer, I really hate inheriting positions because someone else maybe has broken some some rule. Like there's very rarely been a time where it's been like one, two, three across the line. And I would love for that to be the way we end.